Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. <clears throat> I'm back with the latte um, sweet. Yes, okay. I wanted to show you more of this sweet and um, I'm actually just casing a card uh, straight out of Stampin' Up's samples um, in their, the video that they put out about this suite. Sorry, I'm just trying to get some better lighting here. Okay, I think that's better. So please say hello and uh, let me know where you're from. So I've done a little prep work because uh, you don't need to watch me die cut and I'll show you sort of what, what I've done and we'll put those things together and then we're gonna do some stamping as well. Now I have exactly a half an hour before I have to go to my son's basketball, so I'm hoping we can get this finished. Um, but if not, will at least get all the bits together. So I have already die cut out all these little bits to build the pieces. And I just wanted to show you what that was like. So in Smoky Slate, I did the like the carafe. And then this is the handle for this other coffee carafe here. This is the coffee that goes in each of these. And then I did this tiny little cup. And this little die goes inside of this cup. So let's just quickly build these and then we can put them aside. So here's your like bottom or whatever. And then this piece I did in vellum. I've heard other people who have done it in acetate. So it lines up quite nicely. So what I am going to do is very carefully, this is where an adhesive sheet would be a good idea here. But you know, I always think of those things after the fact. So let's do a very little bit of our adhesive. You could also use your fine tip glue pen. Um, just depends what you like to work with. It's ideal that you don't do that, but you know. And then I am going to come here and line it up. So you know how to line it up because of where the top is going to go. Oh, and I shouldn't have put so really, I only should have put adhesive there and there. Lessons learned, it's my first time working with this too, so we don't need that adhesive there. And I could have put a little bit on the top there, which I did not. Okay, so learn from my mistakes. And then this is the coffee. So I did the coffee in espresso because it is black coffee, right? If it's sitting in your bottom. Now I can see why some people are using the transparent sheets because this um, does not show very well through that. So the other option would be to cut it in black. So I'm just gonna try that, just so we can see what that looks like. Only because we've done the, the vellum. Um, so I'm just gonna try that to see what that would look like. show through better. So let's just take a look. You know what? It still just looks dark, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Now, we have to be careful with the adhesive here because um you don't want it to show through. So I'm gonna line it up with the legs, the silver, the gray legs there, and then we're gonna overlay it like that. So then I'm gonna have it sit in the bottom, overlaying with those legs, and wipe that off. If you have already been working with this, I would love to know what your approach was to that. You can see it more when we take it off. And I'm actually going to add a tiny bit of adhesive up here now that I can sort of see where things lay. So I was surprised. Um, I was expecting this guy to already be on 
um, <clears throat> low inventory, but it is not. Now this one is gonna be trickier. I'd be curious to know how anyone is actually putting this. I guess they're just sort of layering these things. And then this is the handle. So it goes across here like this. There we go, yep. Yeah. So again, we're just gonna do this bit. They made it so it's pretty easy to, you can sort of see where it lines up with the edge, so that's good. So yeah, I would suggest if you haven't ordered this yet and you're planning on it, to make sure you have either some vellum or some window sheet. And then I am going to just put a tiny little bit of adhesive here and lay this down so it just overlaps with that. So it's at least sticking down in one spot. And then there's this cute little lid. So again, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of glue on the top and then put this lid down. Now, I went with the exact same colors or tried to that were in the sample on the video. So like I said, she used window sheets. I thought I'd get a try getting away with vellum, but these were, so those are those bits. Then she used this lemon lolly and cut out this, this little cup here and there's two of them in opposite directions and then this little guy is this funny little die and that's why there's two of them because it is the coffee that goes in these little cups so again espresso is generally drunk black so that's why i just did this in early espresso as opposed to one of the others. Okay, so there we go. There's all those little bits built together if you are wondering how those all worked out. So now the other bits of this card are the mug, the big mug. taking these off from last time because I knew I was going to just be working with this suite over and over again. So take our big mug and then we're going to take this single little coffee bean and we're going to take the multiple coffee beans. And then they used this greeting that you're the best part of my day. So we will do that as well. Okay. So this one they stamped and then colored and it looked to me like they stamped it in um, smoky slate. But I think because it matches like what's going on with your mugs. So we'll do that as well. So we'll take our smoky slate. And we'll stamp this guy. And then they did a whole bunch of these coffee beans. And so, I think we actually want to stamp these on some espresso. So let's see. So if I stamp espresso in espresso. Yeah. So they did a couple of these guys. The other option is you could stamp it on white and color it. But I'm just going to do it like this for tonight. I think that will be quicker. Also, it will be cute. Okay. And then here we need to stamp the inside. And this 
next I'm gonna do in like a milkier. So I'm gonna do this in the pecan pie. And it goes in the middle of our mug. Okay, and then this mug, I'm trying to think what color they had it. I think they had colored it Calypso Coral. Cause they were using the, um, we're gonna use the paper that has the clips of coral and the lemon. So we're gonna go ahead and do this in the light calypso coral. With our stamping blends. The fun thing about this tweet is that the paper, if you don't want to color, you can just use the paper. And then if you want to color, you can use the stamps. I've seen a couple where they didn't color the mugs at all and that looked really cool. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my darker one. Just kind of blend that in a bit. So the best way to do that is to go over it again with our lighter one. And then it also looked to me like they kind of had this kind of bleached out a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm just gonna do like some strips of our color lifter. If you watched my video the other night, you know that I kind of like that look of the color look they're kind of like pulling out some of the color. So that's what we've done. So now we need to die cut that. So that is with this mug here. You can also die cut this piece that I just stamped inside of it. Okay. These dies line up really nicely, which is excellent. I am using a piece of non-stick tape just to make sure that it didn't move because I don't want to have to color that again. Okay. So we've, oh, we got to die cut all of these. The good thing is there is more than one of the die. So I'm gonna put this on here. I can see why you would like to um, color these. It would just have a little bit of nicer definition. Okay, I won't be able to do both of those at once because I stamped them too close together. And then they actually give you three of the little guy so let's see if I can at least die cut two of them. I was trying to save space, but sometimes then when you try to save space, you can't actually put the dies side by side, right? Because they will overlap. Yeah. Okay, so that was poor planning on my part.
And these would of course be perfect with our uh, mini cut and emboss, which again, I should get out, but it just means putting it on the desk and hey, Casey. Um, it's just easy for me to take this off to the side. I know lots of other demos who do not have their die cutting machine right in their video screen. You know how to die cut, you don't need to see that, which is why I did a lot of it ahead of time. Okay, this is the right shape there. Yes. Okay. Do that guy. So the pieces of this are like super fun, right? I mean, I'm super excited. I loved the last coffee set they had. It was also my son's favorite. So I have kept it for eternity. I don't think I did a very good job of die cutting that one. Um, but this one is different. So it's good to have a new one. My tape is so big that when I'm putting it over here, I'm covering so I can't see if I'm making a mess. There we go. I think we're good there. We'll find out. not lose these. All right, so let's just go ahead and get this guy put together. So what they had done, they did a Calypso Coral card base. So I think I have a piece cut here. I, they probably didn't use this orientation, but this is the card base I have, so that's what we're going to do. It doesn't matter, right? The cards are the same size no matter which direction the card base is cut it's more for if you're going to emboss it or what direction like how it's going to sit open on someone's mantle this one is going to sit this way so this actually works out and then we want um a strip of white so it has to be tall enough we want it to be as wide as this card so that's going to be fine and it has to be about that tall so what does that work out to being like three and a quarter? I'm going to do three and a quarter by five and a half. So that would come across like this. And then they had this DSP behind it. So I'm going to do three and a quarter. I'm doing another, so I'm going to do three and a half. <clears throat> I could also just do strips. Which might not be so wasteful. So you know what? I'm going to do one inch strip. Okay, so then I've just done two strips. That way we're not using up whole sheets of DSP and we can have as much or as little of that showing as we like. Okay, how are we on time? Okay, so we're just gonna like put this all together. I'm probably not gonna put it down, but just so you can see. So they had this little guy over here and then they had this. And then this guy was kind of like this. And then this guy was over here. So maybe it was kind of a bit more like this. I don't think you could see that handle. Sort of like this. And then they had some coffee beans. <clears throat> and they had some more. Of the coffee beans. 
And then they had just like a few of these little single guys scattered. I die cut three. I couldn't remember if they had three or not. Might kind of do something like that. Okay, that guy we might not use. Okay, and then they had taken, oh, I have some of this left. They had a little strip of this ribbon so let's say roughly like that and that was hanging down there I feel like I'm gonna have to just kind of move everything over a little bit And then on a, so this is actually pretty cute and came together not too trickly. I mean, I appreciate that I did a lot of this um, die cutting ahead of time. And then they have on a piece of lemon lolly. So we'll see if this is going to be wide enough. They have this. You are the best part of my day. I don't remember what color this was stamped in. I'm going to stamp it in coral. We'll see if we like that. If not, we'll stamp it in espresso. That looks cute. And then I know that they had used, so how wide is this? Ooh, an, oh, an inch and a quarter. Okay, I'm gonna cut this off down here. And I am going to use, and you still have yours, the Taylor Tag Punch. So we can banner the ends, because they had this as a little banner. So I'm going to figure out where my words are. They're quite a ways up, so that's fine. And then you just got to make sure this is centered. So that's the only thing. So typically what I do is I line it up at the edges and then just move it down. Whoops, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> I gotta make sure it's straight. That's the only thing I'm worried about. So I'm gonna look at it from the top. I'm gonna use the words up top as my guide. And then they just had it on here and it was so cute but we have too much, I need to banner it a little bit more. Make sure it's still straight up top. Okay, I am going to just have to fix this because I've, I'm not really in the center. So the other trick of course is to just um, figure out where center is and cut up from each edge. Basically kind of like what I've just done there. And then that guy goes right there. I still want that to be a little bit squatter. I don't actually like it. Okay, so I am going to make a snip. And I'm going to cut up to it. And then I'm going to cut up to it on the other side. <clears throat> there we go. I didn't want the banner to be so deep. You know what I mean? There, and then you've got that cute little, oh my God, look how cute that is, you guys. So this just has to get kind of moved around, right? So that you are not cut.
covering it with your words. Okay, so total case of the Stampin' Up card in their video. I don't know if I have my coffee little beans in those same spots, but you get the idea. And we have used lots of different elements of the bundle. The sweet. So I will glue this all together. Um, once I am not racing off to my son's basketball and then I will do a photo so you can see, but uh, yeah, hopefully you think that's cute. Hopefully you think the suite is cute. Um, if you are not on my email list, but you live in Canada, um, I have a promotion. So for anyone who is ordering this suite or the bundle and the DSP. So if you order the entire suite, um, you will get entry into like a free Facebook class that I'm going to do where it'll be four cards and a card holder. Um, and you'll also get the cardstock bits, like whatever cardstock you need, not basic white, just colored cardstock, um, to go along with the supplies you already have to craft along with me. Or if you just order the bundle and the DSP, then you will have access to the class. Um, I just won't be sending you any of the cardstock. Okay, so those options are available if you were to order the suite for me, if you haven't already ordered it from someone else or um, you are not a demo yourself. All right, thanks everyone. Hopefully you have a great evening and uh, I will try to get back on again this week with some more of these great new online exclusive products.